Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in your RadioMaster MT12, the HTX firmware. It's now available so that we can make the updates using the Edge um, TX Buddy. So we're going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you where to get the firmware and then we will update the, the radio itself. Now let's switch over to the computer and I will leave all the links you need to know in the description below. Right, here we go. So we're now going to go to this website and you can see firmware version and we're going to select that and we're going to go to the latest one. Then once it's ready, it's still loading there, you can see, there we go. We click and we're going to choose our radio, which in our case is the MT12. Now you can see at the bottom, we can download the BIM file, which we can then put onto the SD card and then update the radio. But I feel this is the easiest way. We are going to click flash via USB. So if we click there, now we need to plug our device in DFU mode. Now with the MT12, that means we plug into the top port, USB-C port there, with the radio off, and then we plug the USB cable into our computer. And there we go, you can hear the computer detect it. So now we go down to add new device and there it is, it'll be STM32 bootloader. So click that one and go connect. Now we've chosen, we've uh, now uh, connected to our radio. We're gonna click next and you can see it's telling us what's going on here. We're uploading 2.10.1 uh, to our MT12. So we say start flashing. And I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes. takes a little bit of time. And there we go, all successful. Now we can check if that version is now on our radio. Now we need to unplug our radio from the computer and turn it on and I will show you what to do. There we Welcome go. To HTX. We hit our system button and then we go to the right until we get to our versions. And if you look, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see this, if you look at that carefully, you'll see now the version is 2.10.1. So we now have updated our radio. We've got the latest firmware. Now, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy driving. Bye for now.